Hi there, friends and family. Sean here. Um, guess I wanted to kind of make this video just talking about my frustrations that I have being an amputee. You know, I'm tired of running into stuff with a wheelchair, tired of kind of being confined, it being uncomfortable. Um, tired of knocking stuff over with the wheelchair all the time. The lighting in this room that I use to do videos, they're all on uh, photo tripods. And, you know, the legs are kind of spread out. There's five lights set up here, two on me, two on the green screen, and then one overhead. And they're all on tripods, <laughs> you know. And then, because things are catty-cornered in this room, to try to get the best distance out of things, because I have a 35 millimeter lens on the camera, which makes for well, a pretty decent close-up shot. But I want to kind of get, you know, more of my torso in the picture. And with all of that in the room, you can imagine how difficult it is to get things in the place without rolling over cords and disconnecting stuff. And, <laughs> and you got to laugh at it. My computer desk, if you want to call it that, it's more of a computer cart. Uh, it's got a platform on the bottom of it, and then the wheels are attached to the underside of that. Well, I can't get that close to things there because the wheelchair will not go under it, you know, because of that platform. Yeah, I, I mean, I know things will change, you know. Um, you know, had a contractor come in and look at renovating the house, taking out some walls and making all three bedrooms in here, well, two bedrooms and the studio, and making it one big studio apartment separated by a barn door at the living room and then uh, you know it'd be a cool pad even though it's a house it would kind of look like a, a New York studio apartment so that's very appealing to me and I don't plan on moving a family or anything in you know so you know, if uh, if I managed to hook up with somebody that didn't mind living here and, you know, uh, the, the bathroom's going to wind up being bigger. So, you know, that's cool. Um, but as long as, you know, that person that I hook up with, as long as they're cool with having an electronic drum set in the bedroom, you know, I mean, it's... It's all good, but that's not something I'm really worried about. I mean, I just wish that I had friends that would come around and visit me and talk with me, and I just don't have that, but that's my own fault. Uh, you know, I, I'm into some pretty technical stuff, and when I try to explain to a lot of friends what I'm into, they're they're lost, you know. Uh, so it would be nice to, you know, to have somebody that understood that, you know. But that's a difficult test to pull off, you know, to find people that understand what I do.
Yeah, you know. Um, but I tell you, I, I, I don't know what the cost is going to be to do the renovations on this. And I don't know if my GoFundMe goal is going to have any impact on that. We'll just have to see, you know. Uh, so anyway, on a downside of things, <clears throat> even though I was in the hospital and they put a balloon in my leg in uh, the dorsal artery, I still have the anterior... Yeah, um, I still have two other arteries, tibial arteries, that just are not supplying blood and no bypass can be done. I know next month they want to do an ultrasound and just see how, how much better the blood flow is in that one vein. But you're talking about one vein or one artery that's trying to do the job of three. And what has happened is the nerves in my foot are just shot. I have no feeling in my foot. Um, decreased blood flow in my foot. It's hard to find a pulse. But more importantly, I have no ankle strength. And with not having nerves that work right, you know, it's, it's just not going to happen. I'm not going to get ankle strength. On top of that, if things keep going bad with the tibial arteries and blood flow totally shuts down, then I'm in the same predicament I was in with the right leg. And I have to be realistic and look at the possibility of losing my left leg if there's an infection or anything goes bad. Not a very good thing to have to think about. Um, my dad, he's, he's a double amputee. Both of his legs were amputated below the knee. And I see him get around. I know it's a difficult task for him he also has a wife, so, you know, he has some sort of a support system there. I just got, well, my mom drops by and pops up at the hospital if, if something bad goes wrong with me. But, but I have nobody to really talk to, no significant other, nobody to discuss things with. And it makes for a very lonely existence. I mean, the cat is only so much company. Um, and he can get annoying. <laughs> um, I'd like to thank the people that have donated to the GoFundMe account. Um, you know, you guys really have... have you know, you, you've started me on the path of making a difference. And I thank you for that. I just wish that the um, droves of people that I have as friends on Facebook and even my family that are on Facebook, I just wish that they would lift a finger and donate. I mean... I've had complete strangers, you know, donate 50, 100 bucks. Um, an old acquaintance of mine, well, he's more than an acquaintance, he's a friend. An old friend of mine, he actually donated $200 in one pop. So, you know, to the people that have donated so far, Thank you very much, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Um, for the people that haven't donated, please donate. Please tell your friends. Please tell your family. Please tell your enemies. 
um, because every little bit is going to help. But I have a long way to go um, to get to $14,000. And there's a lot of things that I need. You know, my wheelchair, the one that I got, it's narrow. It's getting me into my bathroom and into my other rooms uh, with a bare amount of leeway. I'm still banging up my knuckles and, and things like that. Um, so that's that's another frustration. But I think the only way that I'm going to be able to get a wheelchair into my Jeep is if I have an extremely lightweight wheelchair where the wheels come off and you can disassemble it and just pull it into into the vehicle. Um, they're not cheap because they're like three grand a pop. Um, you know, I'm looking into all kinds of of uh, devices to help me. You know, there's a, I know there's some sort of an ankle brace, and I have to talk to my prosthetic person, to see what they think, and then. I don't know, maybe talk to the orthopedic doctor and see what he thinks. Maybe that can brace that ankle that, you know, I can actually balance a little bit on it. We'll just have to see. I mean, it's a long process. I go see uh, um, the people at Hangar at the prosthetic place. I go see them today, so we shall see, you know, where that goes. Um, yeah, so, as I said, you know, please donate to the GoFundMe. Uh, whatever, whatever amount you can, you can scrounge together to to donate, you know, it's greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, so with that, I will see you all on the flip side. Bye.